So, hello fellow banknote collectors, how you going today? This is Glenn, back with some banknotes from the Netherlands. So, this series that I have here, I only have the three lowest banknote series. And these ones, uh, the 1960s and 1970s Golden series. So I have 5, 10 and 25 Golden. The only other two banknotes in this series, or oh, three actually, there was a earlier... Five Golden issued in 1966, and there was a hundred Golden and a one thousand Golden. So hopefully soon I'll be able to get the one hundred Golden, but the one thousand Golden, well that's a bit expensive, so that's going to probably take a few years to actually get. So let's have a look at them. So these are all pretty much mono color, means that they're basically just one color pattern. Uh, but there are different shades of like the green on here so this is the second five golden that was actually issued in so this one was issued 1973 to make it more in line with uh, the other banknote designs because the 1966 one is a bit, bit, uh, bit different and it's also a bit harder to get so but doesn't that it actually um these banknotes are not too easy to get and uh, their price is a little bit expensive depending so a majority of them have been selling for over over twenty dollars but this one's in quite circulated condition so it's actually a bit cheaper um, so who are on these banknotes well on this banknote we have his name's down here Jost van den Vondel. So, who is this guy? Hmm. Uh, well, he was born in 1587 and died in 1679. So, what? That's uh, 93, 92 years old, roughly. 92 and a half, I reckon. And he was a poet and a playwright. So, he actually. Uh, Done a play on John the Baptist in 1662. And he's called the greatest Dutch epic. So, he died in Amsterdam. So if you go to one of the cemeteries, maybe you'll be able to find his grave. Oh, had four children. I'm looking off Wikipedia. I'm not going to actually say too much. He, well, he was actually born in Cologne. So he was actually German. But... What is his parents? But his parents are Dutch anyway. From Antwerp. So then we have the Secretariat and the President. That might be the President of the Nederlandische Bank. I don't think uh, the Netherlands doesn't have a President's Head of State. Because it's a monarchy. And he's issued in Amsterdam. As you can see they're all in lowercase. <clears throat> so the grammatical features of a language don't worry don't uh, apply here so 20th of March 1973 and the watermark is so if you have a look at the watermark looks like a phallus oh no no it's a it's a there's the quill there's the ink pond so it is just a pen really an old style pen that the uh, upper class actually use because it's very, very ornate in its design. So a quill and a ink box. And on the reverse, pretty much an abstract design. Looks like uh, might be a building with a arch over top. And here we have a doorway. With, looks like a building in the background. Here's the actual fence and there's like the curtains up there so not too sure what that represents maybe it represents nothing here's the inscription the public designs not too sure can't actually read it probably designs the punishment and uh why it's a legal tender here is the copyright who it actually belongs to and I presume that is the actual printer and these ones generally come in, so it's 3, 6, 9, 10, 10 and 11 serial numbers. Um, 
and that's a good bank mate. Then we have the Tangun, as you can see, it's just blue. And uh, I like this. So the guy on this one is Hans Files, and he was a a Renaissance painter. So he was born in 18, uh, 1582 and died in 1666. Yes, 66. And he lived in Harlem, worked in Harlem, which is in the Netherlands, not the United States. This is the early version issued in 1968. And the actual watermark is a snail shell, or cornucopia actually, with a fruit coming out of it. So cornucopia is just like a, a horn or a shell or something that has fruit coming out, and it represents abundance of uh, produce. So it's his name there. And I'm not too sure what that is. That it's on all the banknotes, but it looks like it's used for mapping or mathematics. If anyone is familiar with this, then uh, please let me know. But I like blue. Blue is an awesome colour for banknotes. Blue, yellows and reds. And if you have a look at that feature, ornate abstract features and on the back this actually is probably mathematical drawing maths can be applied to that but what it looks like is when they build a dam they actually have a big funnel with a hole in it so if it floods over a certain level then the water will go over the top and it'll actually go down the hole and it looks like a giant whirlpool and that's what actually that looks like to me. Uh, then we have a, it looks like a target, and we also have uh, another thing, probably more modern type of target. So that is a beautiful 10 golden. And then I have the 25 golden. So this was issued in 1971, as you can see. So I did that. Between 1968 and 71, did the signatures vary? No. no. So the same people were actually in charge from 1968 to 73. And this one's a nice red one. It has a bit of a orange on it. So orange is just a variation between red and uh, yellow. And the watermark here is wavy pattern. So or it could actually represent fish. So this guy was actually a composer, so maybe that's actually sound waves. I'd say that's what it is. So the watermark is probably associated with uh, the person. So sound waves, because he was a composer of music, uh, and he was a renaissance composer. And what's his name? Jan Pietzertz Verlink. He was born in 1562 and died in 1621. So, all these banknotes have people that were born in the same period. And on the reverse, that could actually be sound waves, but it could just be an abstract image. So, and the banknotes that were issued after this are actually more abstract. And Germany didn't represent. Any any definite feature that people readily recognise. So, five, ten, and twenty-five golden. Uh, must be stressed that these ones would have been used up until uh, they were replaced in the nineteen eighties and nineties, uh, but they probably would have still circulated up until two thousand and two. And this one was replaced in nineteen eighty-eight with a five golden coin. So. Here's the actual coin, 1988, and that's more of a modern design. So, beautiful Dutch gun. I'm trying to get the rest of the series, and Dutch banknotes are just awesome anyway, because uh, earlier on they had a lot weirder denominations. I would like to um, know what you think about these banknotes, and uh, if you actually collect them. I know... I know there is one YouTuber that's actually collecting them. Uh, being it's from Albania, but I don't know if anyone from Australia is actually trying to get these banknotes as well. So I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. Please uh, like and subscribe, and give this video 
uh, thumbs up and also check out my links below especially the ooh, discord forum I actually have a discord forum not too many people on it now but I actually would like to get more people on it so thank you and have an awesome banknote collecting time people bye bye